right. Take a deep breath. Good job. Here's your first set of vital signs and blood pressure. Angela, the breath sounds are symmetric bilaterally. Oh, 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 oh. Blood I'm right here, buddy. I'm here. In terms of circulation, you're fine where you are. So he's got a strong femoral pulse. Just going to feel right here. He's got good distal pulses below his fracture. And on the other side, they're a little bit thready, but symmetric. And his heart rate from a circulatory perspective is 150. So he is tachycardic. We have a blood pressure. We have a blood pressure of 79 over 48, and that's been confirmed with the manual. Okay, so on the low end. I'm just going to feel your belly, okay? Charlie, does this hurt? Ow! Okay. Ow! That hurts, okay. That's like 10 plus 36. Okay. So he's got a bruise over his left upper quadrant, and he's got a tender belly with some guarding. I'm um, just going to check his pelvis really quickly. Pelvis is stable. Right here, buddy. Right and I don't see any blood at the meatus. All right, so let's just summarize the primary survey. So his airway and breathing are okay. We've got spontaneous respirations and a patent airway that he's protecting well. His oxygen saturation is adequate. We've got him on oxygen. I'm worried about circulatory system. Heart rate's a little bit fast. And I'm worried as a source of blood loss that it may be the belly since he's got a tender belly. Um, we'll go back and uh, uh, do a secondary in a second. But let's address the circulatory system and do a 20 milliliter per kilogram bolus of normal saline. Okay. Sheila, so, do you have the normal saline bolus? I do have the so 20, bolus, 20, 20 per kilo. So 400 oh, mils oh, and yeah. push pull. Okay. Yeah, so Lori, we're just, we're worried a little bit that he's losing blood somewhere. And so we're gonna be giving him some fluids and now we're gonna just check head to toe and make sure we don't miss any other injuries, okay? Okay. okay.